element of these shows that's what like it's the x factor of these sitcoms like remember on home improvement with tim allen and he had the neighbor that never showed his face you know they always do like yeah shit and like then that. at the end yeah, of the they, show they, they show his face i don't know if they did i don't, I don't know i don't know if they did but full you know it was just that one thing it's just like eight seasons of shit and there's a recurring character and you never see their face sort of like john montana my co-host junior and I am the X-Man, Scott J. Sycamore, yeah, the 27th. Not, no, not really. Not Sycaless. Sycaless. We're all... Just Sycamore. Uh, yeah, just, you gotta tamp it down. Tone <laughs> it down. What do we got in the news? <laughs> it's all about the news. Give me some news um, for me. We were okay. talking some funny shit. I don't know. Oh, the wait, biggest, the biggest news yeah. in, the, in the mainstream media right now is probably in this week gonna be the Pope thing. Who's gonna be the next pope? Who's gonna be the next leader of yeah. the Knights of Malta establishment? Right. Pe pedophile stars wars. <laughs> a new pope. The new King Pedo Bear. Yeah. Will Pedo Bear make an appearance <laughs> yes. at the Pope selection? Yes. And the play pope. some like Brazilian techno or whatever he does. But yeah, man. We have these gorilla protest comedic people doing shit like that. Right. Um, so and the uh, Pope will. What's yeah. the real story behind that? Oh, what's the real story behind why the Pope resigned? I mean, there's never been. Okay, there has, there was one. Like how long ago? Like seven thousand years ago? Or some Six hundred. Yeah, wait, wait, close. I'll leave it. That's okay. Yeah, it's a hot second of it. But um, so yeah, he resigned, and supposedly there's not only the transvestite party scandal with the Vatican brass balls in general. But rumors just of gay activity with rats, with J rats, um, Benedict 17th, uh, Bened Benedict them down. And, you know, yeah, why not? I mean, as people have noted for a while, it's the gayest place on earth. So, like, Disneyland is yeah, the happiest so, yes, quote yes. on earth. It's, so, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so there's this uh, this gorgeous gorge, Gor gorgeous, Gor gorgeous George guy. Gorgeous George with no e. In gorge. We'll just call gorgeous him gorge. Gorger of penis. <laughs> he likes the gorge. Gorgeous and gorged. <laughs> when? All right. Uh, so so he, yeah, there's okay. So that's the biggest scandal that's probably hit the Vatican like ever in our lifetimes, and it's not the biggest story, obviously. It ain't real yet. The big story is who's gonna be the new pope. You know, yeah. um, I don't know. There's a guy from Ghana well, that. The point is, we don't know who the fucking people are, anyways. We'd have to go into some sort of dossier and watch yeah. the news. And there's be like, a, oh, what about there's this a guy, guy from America? There's a guy from Ghana. There's like, you know, people are saying that this this is like the first time that people are saying that it might not be a European pope. Oh my god, you sound like conservative radio dun, dun, dun. host who gives a shit. We all know the Vatican and everything should be shut down and sell their gold and all that, but as it exists, we have to fucking yammer about it like the MSM or whoever and be like, well, I guess who the new Pope's gonna be? But I mean, yeah, it does affect people's lives, but you know, they have that pedo bear. It's like, yeah, until you can force them to tear down their castle or whatever is going on. Tear down this wall. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, what it's are you not, really gonna I don't do? Chances yeah. are it's still gonna be a European. It's probably not gonna be a, we're not gonna have seen a, a black pope or an American pope. It could pope be a black pope. It, it'll be a guy. It'll be a guy people have never heard of until But if then. they have the American pope, you know? Be, oh, yeah, shucks. an American one too. It sounds like an uh, 80s movie. American Pope Michael Dudikoff. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. American Pope. It already sounds like a movie title. From right? Ninja to Pope, yeah. It's like King Ralph or something. All right, so, so yeah, there'll be some shit. Uh, the molestation, everything will continue. I think we're on to that. Um, we'll figure out in the next uh, edition. Uh, so you were mentioning how technology is destroying the economy. Why don't you give our audience that is vast a little primer? Um, well, it's very simple. I mean, it seems that there's kind of like a, I, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I, this is maybe just a theory, but like, as we're seeing like the economy like go down, we're seeing technology go up and I'm seeing like kind of a trend, like, you know, like we had a good economy right when the internet was invented and then 
it all seems to just right when the internet was invented, things were starting to get easier, like, you know, Gradual iPhones slot. and all the shit gradually, while at the same time, gradually the economy was going down. And then after the invention of, like, social networks like MySpace, the it started going down even more and I think even with Facebook yeah. way more now like it seems and I think that people spend so much time on fucking Facebook that it just lower like Facebook alone can probably be blamed for like a huge you know increase in in just like laziness you know what I mean and unproductivity yes in the Ayn Randian sense or whatever capitalist exactly. sense. nobody creating anything nobody producing anything nobody working just everybody sitting on their ass on the computer just chatting with their friends or flirting with girls like yeah. on Facebook let me play the angels advocate here uh don't you think it's a massive outlet for creativity and putting shows like this on there as well and people making fun picture memes? Yes. It's, it's creative, but yeah, it's still mostly fluff. Like the it is. Bullshit. It is. It is. You're right. It is a great place to be. But that's not what people are doing. People are just wasting their time like Political arguments and food pictures yeah we all know it yeah we know the drill and it's just like yeah because people naturally... and i'm not saying like we should shut down facebook <laughs> should, no should, I, I love facebook yeah, i'm on it all the fucking time of course you are at john you know, montana jr you know what i'm saying but it seems like they're giving us this technology now in order to ease the pain right because like they the, know they're fucking us economically just like they're giving us weed well not us of course you know what i mean so um, it's like a form of like yeah. it's a form of welfare almost the internet like it, the military had the internet for a very long time it's mental welfare it's in, you know? it's it's idle time and now, welfare. They're, and now they're giving it to civilians because it's it's power you know what i mean it's knowledge you know what i mean the, the only time they can give a, that to us is to basically ease the pain of what's really so, about to fucking happen to right. us. Right, so the future holds a vast technological increase and a vast economic collapse at the same time. And then we have this futuristic dystopia, two-tiered society. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have a technological like safety net for everything, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's all gonna come to you. Like, they're gonna, you know, like in, <laughs> you know, in all these movies like where food just appears out of thin air, like in Star Trek, you know? All that, yeah, no more hunting yeah. and gathering. But we already have that now, of course. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, of course that and, would help. Yeah, we're headed towards like a fucking uh, demolition man like future, you know? <laughs> so You've seen that movie, right? Oh, of course, the most uh, NWO-ish movie and yeah. of that moment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, like, one of in the game, basically. Yeah, like the, you, where you have to wipe your ass with a seashell or some <laughs> shit. <you know? laughs> Three seashells. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Like? <laughs> <laughs> no, but they had the thing, and this is some crazy shit. In the movie, in, in that future, they don't have sex. There's no sex contact. They have they put on like VR yeah. helmets or something. And apparently this fool Ray Kurzweil. And no one has guns, not even the cops. Yeah, right. Like, I mean. Well, there's like an underground sewer of, of people who have guns and like can still eat meat and shit like that. Yeah, know? rat burgers and all yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis Leary, the leader. And yeah, and every restaurant is Taco Bell, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad predictive. So um, it basically, yeah, it, it's the whole the sex angle. I heard this dude, Mr. Computer Predictor himself, Ray Kurzweil, and he says that kind of stuff is like basically seven years out, like seven, six, seven years away oh, from yeah. right now. In terms of even like the sexual part, the fucking just all sorts of computer parts, parts. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I just saw a report on the news earlier where somebody was walking around like a robot with like a, a bionic suit and shit, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be the new thing for a pair, the future like cure for a... Paraplegic and stuff um, like that. It's like robot parts. Mobile you suits. Hook up to yeah. Self and you can walk and shit for like yeah. people who can. Avatar type yeah. shit. So yeah, it will make the weak strong again. Yeah, it but, looks like some fucking like you know like Mr. Freeze or like Lex Luthor type of like armor. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it just that, looks like uh, uh, you know. Like one of those like super villains that can't use his legs, like just uh, have like robotic legs and shit. You know? So yeah, he's one. And of then them we shit. saw what happened with the guy in South Africa. You know what I mean? So oh, are paraplegics evil. Oh yeah. No. I know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Be yeah. wary. Of I'm the just kidding. Don't come so. after me, you guys. You cybers, cy cyborgs. Yeah, cyber <laughs> cybers. Well, yeah. <laughs> cybers. Damn yeah. cybers. Yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, fucking. <clears throat> Basically, the. Um, 
these hacktivists have gotten a big foothold too. That's have been happening a lot since the internet came to fruition, right? All sorts of computer wars. Now that's the new thing in the MSM. They talk a lot about cyber attacks and shit. You know, of course that's 15 years like in the making that they've ignored it. You know, that kind of stuff. But yeah, I mean, people be hacking into banks and just causing chaos. Oh yeah, also, we have to talk about this. Yeah. Um... Sandy Hook. And I got Whoa, some more Sandy Hook news. Some Sandy Hoax news. Of course so. Sandy Hoaxers out there. Yeah, don't get too crazy with it. All right. Um, there's a guy. God damn, I have to write people's names. Yeah, man. you really should. Or just, um, you know. Hold stop. on, hold on. I think I texted the information to you earlier. Stop smoking too See, so many. This is why it's good that I can always text you yeah. and shit because I stop. always forget. Stop smoking so many e-cigs, man. <laughs> um, so... But it's vapor! <laughs> Why? I'm the vampire god. Why? Because I'm vapor. <laughs> Steven Schwartz. I mean, Steven Dorf. Is he a crypto Jew? Nobody knows. Um, <laughs> there's so many out there. Um, yeah, so you text me some shit. So let me lay the foundation for these viages out here. So there was a guy, name unknown right now, and he supposedly survived the Aurora Dark Knight shooting. He survived that one, made it out of there, and he's from yes, Newtown, uh, Connecticut, Sandy yeah, Hook. The guy's name is Steve Barton, Stephen Barton, all right? <laughs> yes. Look that up on the internet. Type in Stephen Barton. And now he works for the yes. U.S. of Bloomberry. He survived right? the Batman massacre, yes, and uh, he lives in a town, uh, I forget the name of the town, oh, so he actually wrote town. that down, yeah. that's uh, very close to, to uh, uh, Sandy Hook Elementary, and... Uh, yeah, like apparently the guy is like now like has a huge like job with uh, 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 Bloomberg. With Bloomberg, he's like run, he's what? running like a he's running some kind of task force or something like that on some gun control shit. So he's uh you know an aspiring uh, Gestapo. If, yeah. if I can use that word. But it's I don't, I'm not saying that he himself wants <laughs> to fucking may. kill Jews. I'm just saying that Gestapo. He, that he is maybe not aware of like the agenda that is controlling him. You know what I mean? I mean it's kind of strange. He's know? certainly I mean he's certainly very close to a lot of different angles. I mean, of just yeah, type it type that in and then there's also like a they're trying to like figure out how because he basically was biking. They're, they're saying that well, supposedly he was supposed to be somewhere else at the time, uh, or he lived. No, he lived at something like pretty like not like not too far, but like gotcha. biking distance. And he yeah. said he was taking like a a, a, a a long ass bike tour, and he went all the way to to the uh, um, to uh, to Colorado. To where the uh, Batman shooting happened, and he decided to just stop in and go see Batman. You know what I mean? So it's just like total in. coincidence, yeah. Uh, always, always. But you don't <laughs> believe in that because you actually got to watch the whole Batman movie. Yeah. So you, <laughs> you heard the line. Well, um, you didn't watch the whole thing? <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. No, I'm saying the people at Aurora didn't get to see it all. No. At least not that. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, okay, all okay. All right, so, anyways. Um, There's no punchline there. Yeah. <laughs> so basically. Yeah, as we take it to the limit, we take it to the streets. Don't don't force the issue if you got nothing. But yeah, what anything else? Uh, so our next tech, next tell, we're doing our things, and uh, yeah, people out there, uh, whatever the fuck you want. What else you got for us? We we don't do this with a laptop in front of us. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like these other fagolos, fagliosis out there because. You know, I see people that are on camera now that are looking at their laptop the whole time. Someone's sitting next to them, right in front of them, they're interviewing them, and they're like, oh, really? That's interesting. Let me look up some facts about you right now, right here. You're sitting... Yeah. Some more um, bullshit. That's that Huff Poe type horse shit. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, yeah, we're, we're very, uh, we run out of shit to talk about. We're mm -hmm. normal. We're not, like, perfect and shit. This is pretty special. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you guys the next day. We're just saying audio. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. Play your banjos and shit. Yes. You know. Don't forget to masturbate uh, early. Well, oh, that's right. The no, right way. Yeah. But do, it, do it responsibly. <laughs> friends don't let friends masturbate responsibly. 
He is a yeah, condom. Fr- they don't, friends don't let friends drive while mess, while jacking it. You know while that in the future, in this like dystopia, they're gonna if you have if you uh, they're gonna basically like make people jack off with condoms. <laughs> that's the demo man shit. Yeah, that's the de- that's in the future of demolition man. Demolition yeah, man. I know. You gotta you gotta demolition put a man. you gotta put a seashell <laughs> on your dick to jack off something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's like whoa. Yeah, it'll be. Oh, well, you know, shit. there's like, have uh, you ever re- read that book, The Giver? No, it's very giving. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. It's, it was a book they made us read in junior high school or high school, I forget. But um, and it was uh, they, it was in the future, and they make people uh, uh take this pill that basically stops you from like having like wet dreams and shit, right? What? Yeah. It's okay. What? <laughs> it stops you from like you know like basically like reproducing basically. It okay. Stops it makes you. the people stare. Like all the yeah, all the babies are born like in the lab and shit. Like they're like yeah, yeah. artificially made and shit, and yeah. like and they're not allowed to like have sex and shit. So like the little kid, he stops taking the pill, like the little kid in the book, and he like starts having like mad wet dreams and shit. No way. <laughs> it sounds like a very uh, sexualized I know, they made here. us read that shit in junior high school. <laughs> really? We're gonna have to look into this. That sounds like some interesting programmability. I know, that's a new world order. Um, now that I remember, dude, I mean, the public school system is just get oh, your kids out rail, of it. Like, rail seriously. on it, yeah. Home skizzle that mother fizzles. Homeschool your fucking kids, you know. And if you can't homeschool your fucking kids, like put them out for adoption or just, you know, do it. <laughs> do like Casey for, Anthony and yeah. have a late abortion. <laughs> put them, <up>, yeah. <laughs> All you, our message is not a, it's not a late term there. abortion. It's a late abortion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a third term of fucking grade school abortion. <laughs> Just send them to San Diego. Okay, yeah. we're Oh, 